Now look at my twig. It's just sickening. Just sickening. Storms carving a path of destruction across the Kansas City metro. More than 50,000 people remain in the dark tonight, while others are cleaning up a big mess. And we have team coverage tonight of the storm destruction. From the damage to the homes, including one that was just about to be sold to the power poles still on fire hours after those storms passed. But first, 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom begins our coverage at Armor Road in McGee, where a tree is still blocking the street. Cynthia. Yeah, we are at McGee and Armor Street in Kansas City, and I want to give you a good look at the trunk of this tree. Can you believe this? This is an old, strong, and tall tree, but it was no match for the strong winds overnight. And it's not the only thing that was damaged right here. I talked with a man who lives near here who saw everything that happened here overnight. It was exciting. TJ Conway is getting an up close and personal look at what he saw happen last night around midnight during the peak of the storm. There was a lot of thunder and lightning and wind, and basically we heard the crack of the tree and we saw it fall into the car. Like a toothpick, the powerful winds simply snapped this giant tree as it fell onto the street and onto this car. Chandler Coleman also parks along this same street, and she admits. She's lucky her car is okay. Well, it was ironic because I had accidentally passed a spot on this side of the street, and I thought, oh, bummer, you know, I'll have to park way down there. But, you know, ironically, it turned out all right for me. Chandler did see the man who owns this car when he came out to see the damage this morning. He seemed, you know, pretty upset about it, so. It's a yeah. nice little Honda Accord. Yeah, so that's, you know, a bummer. <laughs> Yeah, a bummer, you can bet. Now, the only comfort, really, for the man who owns this car is that, first of all, hopefully insurance will pay for the damages here, but also he can take comfort in the fact that he is not alone, as we've been showing you throughout the morning and throughout the day. Uh, several trees uh, damaged homes and cars throughout the metro, so some comfort there, a small comfort, though. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News. Cynthia, thanks. About an hour ago, Kansas City leaders speaking about their response to the storms. 41 Action News reporter Lexi Suter just returned from that news conference and has more. Lexi. Yeah, Mike, I know the biggest question for thousands of people is when will power be restored? Well, KCPNL has called in help from other parts of Missouri and surrounding states, hoping to have about 90% of the population back up and running by tomorrow night. Now, the mayor spoke about the city's efforts so far. He says there were about 40,000 trees that were down, 30 stoplights were hit, and 1,500 city employees are working around the clock. Now, he did make a point to say how appreciative he is to see people out there helping each other. They are uh, taking their own power tools and going out and cutting trees up that have fallen into the right of way. They're out helping their neighbors with damage or trees that have fallen uh, onto private property. We need our citizens to continue to act that way in the Kansas City way. Uh, it's something that I think we should all be proud of. Now, if you have questions, you need help, you can call 311 or you can send a tweet to the city. There is also a shelter available to those thousands of people that will be without power tonight. All of that information is on our app and on our website at KSHB.com. Lexi Suter, 41 Action News. All right, Lexi, there is uh, the latest power outage numbers from KCPNL right here. Just over 51,000 customers remain without power as of this moment. At KCK, 11,000 people. And over in Independence, that number is about 7,200. And Metro Power Crews have been working nonstop since the wee hours of this morning trying to restore power. They've made a pretty big dent in fixing the problem, but still have a lot of work to do. And we're told those repairs could take days to complete. 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth continuing our team coverage now with one area of KC that is still in the dark right now. Josh. Yeah, I'm in northeast Kansas City along Independence Avenue where several blocks still without power. That, of course, includes intersections like this one. Many stoplights not operable. You can see three in my area where I'm at right now. Drivers happen to use these intersections as four-way stops. And I want to stress they need to be very careful. We've been here for about an hour, hour and a half, seen several close calls near accidents. People need to be very careful when driving. And we haven't even mentioned very much about the businesses. Almost every business for a very long stretch of road here on Independence Avenue still without power as well. All of this coming about 14 hours since the storm hit early this morning. There are still almost 70,000 people in the, in the entire metro without power. Here you're seeing a crew in KCK restore a pole that was still on fire earlier today. 
it takes several hours to replace something like that. Now, they have every employee out working today, as does KCPNL, who say they have 1,000 linemen and 1,000 tree trimmers out right now. They say it's the most outages from a storm in over a decade, and they're doing everything they can to get everyone back on the grid as soon as possible. Right now, we've got every one of our BP crews out there. So we've got about 50 guys, boots on the ground, plus we brought in some contract electricians to help because we want to get everybody up as quickly as we can. There was a lot of damage done in what's the, the second biggest storm in 13 years that we've had to impact our service territory. So this outage is going to extend into uh, probably uh, midday to late day Saturday, maybe even Sunday in some places. I was told the east side of KC Mo and the south side of KC Mo appear to have been the worst hit. That's according to KCPNL. So people in those areas should probably try to be the most patient. Reporting live from Northeast Kansas City, Josh Elmuth, 41 Action News.